Hey, what's up you guys? Installing a trailer hitch on your Chevy Traverse can take it to some really cool places like camping, biking, or even towing a U-Haul trailer just about anywhere in North America. Let's go ahead and break down that install. You'll need the tools seen here to complete this installation. So to start off our install, we need to be able to remove our bumper by taking off these two covers right here underneath our tail light. There's a little tab at the top that we'll take off using a flathead screwdriver. That exposes two screws that we'll remove using a seven millimeter socket. Now directly underneath that, we're going to remove this screw using a T20 Torx screw bit. and then we'll repeat those steps on the passenger side. Now on the bottom of our bumper fascia, we're gonna remove these two screws using a T15 Torx screw bit. Now on our driver's side wheel well, we need to remove four screws, two down here towards the bottom and two up top. We're gonna to be using a T15 Torx screw bit. Now with those screws removed, we can pull back on our wheel trim right here. We're just gonna pull up and out on it. And we're just going to remove this screw right behind it using a seven millimeter socket. Now we've already taken off two of the screws on it, but there's still two more remaining, one right here and one down here on the bottom on the back side. And we'll use a T15 Torx screw bit to remove those. Now with that mud flap removed, we have two screws underneath. And we'll also remove that using a T15 Torx screw bit. And then we can pull our trim out. And then we'll repeat that whole process on the passenger side. So now we're ready to remove our bumper fascia. To do that, we're going to remove both of the ends first on the driver and passenger side, and then we'll come to the middle and completely remove it and set it aside. So the tightest part is right here underneath the tail light. Now to get a good access to it, to be able to pull it out, you'll want to push up on the bottom of the bumper and then just pull back on the tabs. That way you can get in there and pull it out. And now we're just gonna pop out the middle and then we'll set this aside. Now we're going to need to remove our bumper beam. But before we do that, the two bottom bolts on our bumper beam hold our exhaust into place. So we need to support it underneath here so when we remove those bolts, our exhaust doesn't fall. So we're just gonna take a strap and we're gonna wrap it around this cross member and our exhaust. Now that our exhaust is supported, we're going to remove the two bolts on the bottom of our bumper beam on the driver's side using a 15 millimeter socket. And then we'll repeat on the passenger side. Now we're gonna remove the two nuts on our driver's side of the bumper beam. That's also using a 15 millimeter socket. and we'll take it off on the passenger side as well. Now we're going to pull off our bumper beam and this will not be reinstalled. Now we're gonna take our hitch and we're gonna line it up where our bumper beam was. These two tabs on the end are just gonna go inside of our frame. So to keep our hitch into place while we're installing all of our new hardware, we're going to be using our pre-existing nuts that were on our top four posts on our hitch. We're gonna go ahead and reinstall those now. And we want these to be just a little bit loose, just in case if any of our other holes don't line up. And we'll repeat on the other side.
Now we have two more attachment points on both sides of our vehicle. This is on the bottom of our frame. That tab that went in is gonna line up with these two holes on the bottom. And we're going to need to fish wire our new bolts into place. So we're gonna take one of our fish wires and we're gonna start with our forward most hole. We're gonna push it into the frame and then we're gonna bring it out this hole right here. Now our kit comes with a provided carriage bolt and block for each of these holes. We're going to attach this to the fish wire. We're gonna push the block in first, followed by the bolt, and then we're gonna pull it all the way through. And then we'll do the same thing on our second hole. And then we'll repeat that whole process on the passenger side. So now we're going to remove the fish wires on the bottom of our bolts and we're going to install our provided conical tooth washers and nuts on both sides of our vehicle. Now we're going to tighten and torque our two carriage bolts on our driver's side. To our manufacturer specification, we're gonna be using a 19 millimeter socket. And then we'll repeat that whole process on the passenger side. Now we're going to install our two bolts that go on the bottom of where our bumper beam attached. Now we have two new bolts that come with conical tooth washers. Now to install these, we need to raise our exhaust up, line up our bracket, and then we'll have to screw it into place. Now once we have them loosely in, we're gonna tighten them just a little bit using a 17 millimeter socket. And then we'll repeat that whole process on the passenger side. Now we're going to torque all of our bolts and nuts to our manufacturer specification. Our nuts will be using a 15 millimeter socket and our two bolts will be using a 17 millimeter socket. And we'll repeat on the other side. So now that we have our hitch installed, let's point out that if you are going to be towing a trailer and you have to have trailer wiring since it's required by the law, you do have a pre-wired plug right here on the driver's side. Now it's super easy to install, all you have to do is plug it in. If you want to follow those instructions, you can check out our in-depth wiring video on the link that's going to come on the screen right now. Now with everything installed, we're going to reinstall our bumper fascia in reverse order. So everything on your Traverse hides really well underneath your bumper. To remove the cover to get access to your tow package, you just need to turn these two knobs at the bottom right here, and then pull on this handle, and this panel just pops off, which gives you access to your tow package. With our hitch installed, we pulled our vehicle down onto level ground to show you some important measurements for your hitch accessories. This is a two inch receiver. From the pinhole to the edge of the bumper is three inches, and from the ground, to the top of the inside of the receiver is 20 and a half inches. This will help you determine the length, rise, and drop for your hitch accessories, such as a bike rack or cargo carrier. So that wraps up our install. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about this product or if you'd like to schedule an installation with a U-Haul Hitch Professional, you can visit your closest U-Haul Hitch Center or you can visit us online at uhaulhitches.com. Thank you.